Hi everyone, this is Abel in Vegas coming to you with another quick video. My question for you today is when you drink your Jack Daniels, do you like it straight up or on the rocks? So today I have a unique video for you. I purchased this bottle of Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select. Um, as you can see, these are pretty cool. They have a unique label from the personal collection of Jeff Arnett. <clears throat> if you see at the top, it's a very nice black box that comes with this bottle. But it is not the actual um, single barrel select that I want to focus on for today. But it is actually on the actual bottle. So as many of you guys know, um, Las Vegas recently got themselves a um, local hockey team. We know them as the Vegas Golden Knights. Here's my signed Mark Andre Fleury puck. But Jack Daniels, um, a local winery or liquor store here in town called Lee's Liquor, um, got together with Jack Daniels and they procured um, a special bottle for the Vegas Golden Knights. And so, what makes this cool is they were able to etch the logo. Of the Golden Knights on the bottle and I'll try to zoom in for you so there's our logo and then it has this cool little metal plate um, on the top and then on the actual label itself it tells you when uh, the barrel was or the name the number of the barrel and then also when it was bottled And then if you switch it to the other side, it has our alternate logo, um, which is one of the logos that we find on our jerseys. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what this means up here, but it has something, it's a Rick number. So if you guys are familiar with Jack Daniels, maybe you know what that means. So if you do, let me know in the comments. Um, when I went to the liquor store, I did try to find out if, um, and the back just has the label, um, I did try to find out if they knew the print run of these, um, of how many models they made, um, but they were not able to tell me. So I'm going to try and see if I can send an email to Lee's and maybe they'll be able to disclose that just to know how many um, bottles they made. Um, but I don't drink Jack Daniels. I'm more of a bourbon guy. So my plan is to leave this sealed. Um, actually, I was thinking if I sent this to PSA, I wonder if it'll grade a, a, BG, a PSA um, Jetman 10. Um, but I doubt it, though, because I noticed that a little bit of the etching here um, is kind of missing. So it wouldn't get a perfect grade. So... See, there you go. It's missing a little bit of the edging. But still, pretty neat for us Golden Knights collectors to have this. So, hope you enjoy this and let me know what you think. Um, uh, also, if you know about alcohol here in Vegas during the summer, it gets really hot. So, maybe if you know what would be a great way for me to store this um, so it doesn't get ruined in the heat. Um, maybe thinking about getting um, a, a refrigerator that keeps the... Um, temperatures at a specific time like a wine type of specific chiller or something uh, but let me know uh, let me know what you think about this pickup um, it was a hundred dollars but fifty dollars goes to the golden knights foundation uh, so maybe uh joey brings it my, uh, he's a tax man i wonder if i could uh take those fifty dollars and write it off on my taxes um, but who knows all right guys thanks for watching and take care